Here's a fun little numerical analysis detail for you. Turns out that making sure that all of your operations are floating point accurate is not good enough to know that your algorithm is actually stable. See, the issue is that many things that you run on your computer are running for millions or not billions of steps, right? You're doing lots of computations. And so it doesn't actually matter that the air is very small in every step, because if you're doing billions of steps, it's going to grow. And it's going to, the moment you have some air, that will actually amplify your other airs. The thing that you actually need to show is that your errors are on average going to be zero, right? They, so so that that's different, right? Because you can have small errors that are too high and small errors that are too low. If they're all too high, then you're going to have instability as you go in one direction. If they're all too low, it's instability if you're in the other direction. But it's it's really when when they they average out to zero, right? You have some errors high, some errors low, they have numerically stable algorithms. So it's not okay to say, hey, look, my algorithm is efficient because every you know, my algorithm is going to be correct because every single step is accurate. You need to show stability, which is that Every single step is accurate and your errors are sometimes high and sometimes low. Otherwise, you can get instabilities. This is something that happens that you can actually see pretty directly in Euler's method when you apply it to the exponential function. You get you get very small error, but it has exponential growth in the amount of error that has because every over approximation creates more over approximation.